Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Kobe's Adventure, the finale. Yep, this is the last video we're going to do on this. Oh, 96% level 7 in my save slot. Now, I'm gonna take down King DDD once and for all. He's got a bit more health than the other bosses, and there's quite there's a reason why I decided to dedicate a separate video to take him down. Well, it's not just take him down. And look, I'm back to four lives again. Ah, the joy of having other saves. Now, I I usually actually just end up defeating him with no weapon at all, because he ends up taking my weapon. Where's the museum? There's no museum, is there? Nope. No. This is why there weren't many secret switches. Hmm. I think we may have to go back to a never world, because I... I'd, I'd, I'd like some kind of ability to deal with him. Come on, where's the museum? Come on! Not the arena. Ah, museum. Let's see. What shall I deal with the boss with? Wheel? No! That'd be silly. Be very silly. Okay, I'll go to the arena to find something. Fireball? Okay, fireball. Fireball, hell yeah. Okay. Time to go. I fly over the, o the orange ocean and back to the rainbow resort to take down the evil penguin and get the last part of the starboard. Right, ready everyone? You ready? We're ready. Go. King DD is here. Right. Come on, man. He's got a lot more health. I'm not actually doing any damage to him. Oh, oh, I did a bit of damage. This might take a while. It's taking so long to damage him. Oh, when he does that. Oh, yeah, watch out. He, he basically inflates himself just like Kirby does. Oh, crap. Come on, what am I ability? Gradually doing oh crap. Yeah, okay. When he does that, you just do this kind of strategy. Got it down to half. Okay, wait for him to make some space. Oh crap, he's doing this again. It is quite possible to beat him with no weapon, and that's what I usually do. It's basically when he jumps at you, he lets a bit of those... Oh crap, he's doing this again. Yep, when he jumps at you and lands, the impact will... Um, will, sh will make some stars like that, just like that, and then you can pick them up. You can inhale them and throw them back at him. Come on, almost got him. Oh, fuck. One more, one more hit. Oh crap, he's done this. Where is he? Oh, there he is. And... Yeah! We did it. We got the last piece of the Star Wars. Now watch this part. Yes, we've now got all the parts of the Star Wars. I'm gonna take it to the Fountain of Dreams. Oh, King DDD seems to want to stop us. No. We want to put this Star Wars back in where it belongs, in the Fountain of Dreams. Oh, dear, you won't stop us. Let's put it back where it belongs. And there it is. All shall be well. Whoa. What's this? Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? What's going on? Welcome viewers, welcome all to the hardest boss in the game. See, all your, the ability you have is to start with, and all you have to do is hit him enough times, and you have to hit him a lot of times, whilst dodging his attacks. You've got a time limit to do this, by the way. If you take too long, you die. Basically, as we speak, we are... The puppy is flying towards the ground. So if you take too long, you'll hit the ground, and you'll die. You have to hit him a lot of times. That's why this boss is so hard. You see the ground is approaching? No, I'm not going to do it. No, he's gone. I've run out of time. Yeah, this is why this is the hardest boss in the game. Okay, give it another go. It can take a few tries. hits him at that time limit while dodging his attacks. Oh come on, I I'm doing a lot more damage this time. I'm just running out of time. Oh, stop doing that attack. Come on. Come on, I almost got him. I almost got him. Yes, yes, did it. Now get that warp star. And you're going to the moon. Yep, you see that? Kirby's the gone has gone and chased down the boss to the moon. This is the final boss. Final boss music. Nightmare. And this music is awesome. is actually a lot easier than the first than the boss before him. If I can find he keeps teleporting everywhere. Okay, I just have, can I just hit him? As long as you can dodge his attacks. Yep, like that. I hit him. Well, unfortunately I'm most very low on health. When he makes himself vulnerable like that, you can you get a chance to hit him. Otherwise, just makes you dodge all of his other attacks. Yep, dodge that. Got him down to half. Watch it. Doing good, I was doing good. I was at really low health, so I wasn't going to do good. You don't have to fight the first boss again. You 
still have to fight him again. Oh, well. Unfortunately, you can't harm him unless he's vulnerable like this. He doesn't even take that many hits either. Quite possible to get him without being hit once. But boys, this is a cool showdown. Almost got him. Haven't you been hit once? The Russian saves things like that. I might jinx it. Yeah. Ooh, what's how Oh, he's doing his upside down moves. One more hit, one more hit will do it. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I got hit there, but I didn't. Okay, Dodge is not so down. Come on. Where? And. Ready. this ending sequence. seven pieces and yeah that was beautiful I absolutely loved playing this game. Really great to replay it again. Of course, I've also, I'll also want to wait until the credits have ended. So, yeah, this is actually, well, because NES games are quite challenging in my experience, this is one of the few games on the NES I've actually managed to complete. And, well, yes, it's been quite a journey getting through all of this, and we get to see all of the bosses that could be fought during the time. Oh, I remember you too, the sun and moon. I had to redo you lots so many times. But yeah, as his LP has finally come to an end, we just get to watch the credits roll. Yep, that over there is Cracker. All the memories of getting through the game. Of 
course, as you may have noticed, I did have a bit of frustration with the game. But to be honest, most NES games are. You will get a bit frustrated like that. And I really enjoyed the game mechanics, really loved the graphics. They're, they're, they're quite good for its time, actually. And better, better than some Kirby games that came after it. And, yep, there's the Meta Knights one. And now we have the last fight with DDD. sequence. That this really tugs at my heart where it says bye bye. And that will be bye bye for me then. Because this has come to an end of my first LP ever of Let's Play Kirby's Dreamlands. I'd like to say thank you to everyone for watching this. No matter how few your numbers may be. Because to be honest I probably wouldn't have con con continued what continued playing this. I judge you I get a bit demotivated and I probably wouldn't get past the first episode. But yes, I managed to get all the way to the end. That's the end as it is. Oh, and there's actually more. Aha, extra game. Congratulations. Choose extra game to go on a more challenging quest. In this quest you can't save when your max health is free. What? Your max health is free? Look. Dude, I have a hard enough time if I'm with 5 health. And you can't save? Yeah. You wanna see it? Well, if you pl play bonus games... Yeah, you, you can do all the other mini-games. You wanna see extra game? This is what it looks like. You play the, the whole game again. See that? I've got 3 lives. That, that's basically how it goes anyway. And suffice to say, it is not a pushover. And anyway, I'm not going to torture myself by going through the whole thing again. I'm satisfied with, with completing the game as it is. Very satisfied with this LP as it is. And as I said, I'd just like to thank you all for watching me out through this. I will be doing another game for my next LP. Decided on it yet, but I will probably be uh, posting that t sometime tomorrow or the next few days. So, everyone can look forward to that one. And this is Shanty Fanatic signing off. Have a very nice day.